is we're going to do some string bending today, and this is uh, taken from Wolf Marshall Basics 1, page 60. And st string bending is an uh, important lead guitar technique. It uh, enables you to raise a fretted notes pitch. Okay, and you want to do it, in, and it's it's almost like it's singing. Singing, yeah. Uh, so let's get this technique under our fingers. We're, what we're going to do, I'll bring this down a bit for you, is we're going to play, we're going to bend a string on the G string 2nd fret. And when we bend it up, it's going to sound what is known, what it's, what it's going to sound like the B. Now, if you look at some tablature out there, uh, if you got magazines like Guitar World or Guitar Player, you'll see the number two. Say in this case, we're playing the second fret on the G string. It'll be two with the term, uh, the word full. <clears throat> that full means a whole step bend, which is a two fret distance. So a whole step, if you don't know what a whole step is, is two fret distance. And that's what we're gonna do. Is we're gonna learn how to bend that. Now to execute that A to B bend, what I want you to do, <coughs> excuse me, is take fret the, the this A note on the third string second fret with your third finger. Then take your second finger and put it behind there. Now, right on the same fret, and that's called reinforced reinforced um, bending. Okay, it's going to be especially in this area. Because you're so close to the point of suspension, uh, it's hard to bend here, but it's a good way to start because it really gains your head, gets your hand strength up. The other thing is if you're used to playing the classical way, which is there's nothing wrong with that, but we need to, to be able to bend, you want to have your thumb over top of the neck. Okay, This will help anchor that hand when you bend the string. Now what you're going to do is you're going to pick that string, so I'm going to pick that G string on the second fret, and I'm going to pick that. Tip of my finger, I got this indent here. If you see where I've got, you can see where that is, right? I'm playing the tip. I'm not playing here, I'm playing right on the tip. You're going to push that string towards the four strings to raise the pitch from A to B. Most beginners have a hard time raising it that high. Pick the string, thumb over top of the neck, second finger right behind it. Now, <clears throat> what we're going to do next is we're going to look at figure 2 on page 61 of Wolf Marshall, Wolf Marshall Basics 1. And you're going to play, you're going to do that st string bend 8 times. So you're going to go 1, release it, 2, figure three you're going to bend it and, and then you're going to play the B string underneath and we're going to check our intonation. So since we're bending up an A to a B, we're going to play, I want to get it close. Okay, so just do that for a bit. It just should be identical when we're doing it. Page 61 of Wolf Marshall, you're going to bend it and then you're going to play the open B string, which is this string underneath. So you're going to go. That's on how to do string bending. 
So, so there you go. And if you have any questions on any of that, don't be be scared to, uh, you know, give it a comment. But it does take a while to get the strength up. Okay, it just you might want to, uh, you know, most guitars are strung fairly light. You know, this is this. I have tens, but most people have nine to, to forty two, or nine to thirty eight Fender Rock and Rolls. So you have to see. I mean, you can go with eights. I mean, and it'll make it easier. You could also tune down half a step to make it easier. Kind of like weightlifting, you don't bench press 500 pounds, you work your way up to it. So you can tune your guitar down a half step or whole step as well. Uh, or just go with lighter strings. Most people have nines, so it's per, that's fairly light. You can go as low as eights or sevens, but uh, the tone kind of, well I shouldn't say that, but Billy Gibbons has a great tone and he plays a seven. So. Uh, but you know, it does take time and just practice pushing on that. And uh, that should... Uh, it will come for sure. Okay, so make sure you put enough pressure to pull it to push that up, that string up. All right. Anyways, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.